Very nice to be with you again, Taigu. Before talking about Kinin, which is walking in between Zazen, I would like to say a few words along with Jundo about Kanon. Now, Kanon is often seen in many forms and pictured in many forms. Seated Kanon, standing Kanon, Kanon with many, many arms. And I gave already a kind of talk about Kanon. But I would like to look at Kanon from the point of view of our simple life. I would like to say this, that very, in very a sense, canon is invisible. It is invisible because it is very visible. We are swimming in canon. So we're not talking only about a figure, a form, but we're also talking about space and time. The very nature of what is displayed in this is canon. It is also invisible because once canon is with you and totally actualized in you, you're not aware of it. So in a kind of special way, or unspecial way, sitting is the perfect actualization of Kano. Because you are not busy thinking, ooh, I am compassionate, ooh, warm feelings of compassion in me. You are just letting it be, naturally. Suppose a house is on fire. Suppose a child falls. Anybody has a problem in front of you. When Canon really acts, there is not the thought, I'm acting to help. You just do it. Straight away. That kind of spontaneous, natural action is the very, very nature of Canon's work in this world. Just like Juno. I don't know if it's up there, down there. I don't know if you can find a place where Canon actually lives as an sort of entity. To be honest with you, I don't believe. I don't believe in such places. But truly, I believe that Canon's home is everywhere. We are right now into Canon's realm and we are living every moment as a manifestation of Canon. So what does happen then when Canon is just not manifested? Well, it's because we get in the way again. That is to say we get in the way of a natural process, a natural unfolding. That's my teacher used to say, we put our dirty paws on things. This is where canon is not a way, it's hidden. Our actions, our thoughts, are hiding the natural beauty and luminous and bright display and dark display of canon, because it's beyond darkness and brightness. So, really, the practice of Zazen is not about our sake. It's not even about the sake of the people we love. We might just give everything, give everything up. It's about allowing canon to be. But of course, we like reminders. 
I do. So, up there there's not a statue of Kanon, it's a statue of Amida. Why I prefer Amida to what should be there, actually? Shakyamuni or Anju, Anju Shri. You know, the Bodhisattva sitting on a kind of lion and having a sword. Why do I prefer Amida? Because Amida is is one of the forms of canon and canon can translate into Amida. These guys are really closely related. And he is the figure of the folk, of, of, the, of, of people of very, very humble origin, you know? He's not, the, he's not um, a Buddha for intellectual people, he's not a Buddha for fancy people, for, you know, fashion people, cool people. It's the Buddha of the, of the farmers, it's the Buddha of the fishermen, it's the Buddha of, of people really being simple. So I like Amida. I like Amida very much. Okay guys, um, so when you sit, really, don't think about Kana. But before you sit, you may kind of very naturally direct your sitting in Canon's direction. Give your sitting to Canon. And after your sitting you might dedicate, offer your sitting to Canon. That's what we do when we sing sometimes. You know? <laughs> So next time we'll look at uh, walking. In a way we don't have to learn to walk, I'd like to say. And there are two styles of walking between Zazen. And you may practice either, it's just up to you. I started to walk in the Sawaki tradition lineage and now I do it a bit more simply. and. Really, it's up to you. What I like to say is also that walking shouldn't be complicated. It shouldn't be a grand and dignified attitude. It can be very casual, very simple. No big deal. Thank you. Thank you very much. Enjoy your life and enjoy your sitting. Take care. Bye-bye.